It looks like Melody's over here doing the smart thing and thawing out next to the fire. What else are you doing? I'm boiling some water. I'm actually gonna have some noodles for breakfast. Like a champion. That was oh, a yeah. Using your noodle. <laughs> <laughs> I like using my noodle. <laughs> now we're working on breakfast, acting a little goofy over here. It's always a good morning. And we do have a big day plan for a lot of walking around, a lot of hiking, a lot of photos and video. So stay with us. As for now, I gotta go get warm. This is harder to make than it looks. Bob, I need you, Bob. Bob 8089, I need your help. It's going out. Rocket stove is a team effort. Luckily, we've got this. It comes in really handy in situations like these when you need to start a fire quicker. Blowtorch. In the Original versions of this, there's more ventilation on the side because you have separate pieces of wood that you split rather than, than one hole. So this doesn't have as much of an air intake. And also there are rougher edges on the inside because it's split wood and this is just drilled with a hole. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to try this at home because my, my wife thought I'd catch the whole forest on fire next to our house. I, it's gonna stay inside this. As you can yeah. see, this isn't catching the forest on fire. Hey, look, we all learn from our mistakes, don't we? Of course we do. The struggle is real, folks. This is organic uh, steel cut oatmeal with uh, flax and chia seeds, uh, with also organic raspberries in there as well. I might have to try that. Yeah. Sounds alien to me. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Well, Melody looks like she's about ready to go hiking. I'm definitely ready. I'm pretty sure everyone else is too. I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that this right here is probably uh, stupid. So I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna hike around with that in my backpack because it's probably gonna just foam up and be nasty. I did forget to put my cheeses in there. These are hickory smoked cheese, mm -hmm. and they're fantastic. I'm trying out something new today. This bright green thing I have on, it's a Patagonia base layer. Of course, it's it's my third layer. Uh, I've got icebreaker underneath. It's pretty chilly today and it's gonna get colder. So, but I wanna give this a shot and see how comfortable it is throughout the day and maybe if it's good enough for me to sleep in at night. We'll see. It is a super beautiful day as it turns out. It was cold this morning, but now, man, it is really nice. I got some leggings on I might have to change out of because they're gonna get hot. <clears throat> but if you stand in one place for about five minutes, you cool back down. I have three layers. And I have up to five layers I can wear if it really gets cold. But it wasn't even cold last night. It barely froze. It just got down to 28. It all better. All you're, you're, better. You're not hot anymore. Not anymore. I bet we take another hundred steps and you get hot again with just that on. Can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> just to give you an idea of what we go through to get these videos for you guys, 
Ken over there is uh, currently dealing with cactus thorns in his butt. I think the new term is cactus butt. Cactus butt. Yeah. Currently, Ken is performing minor surgery on himself. He backed into a cactus while taking some video and we're dealing with that now. So fingers crossed that we can get this situation managed. It's early in the trail and I've got confidence. You've got to be really careful when hiking and taking pictures in cactus country. There's one right there. Potential crisis on our hands, but I think we can get it uh, nipped in the bud. So the lesson that we've learned here today, folks, is uh, these little things right here in front of me. Door. We don't want those going into our bottoms. Or anywhere. All right. Are you, you all better, Ken? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm better. Right. You know, it takes somebody who really likes to do photography because we had to finish the, th the shot with that stuff stuck in there before uh, we took it out. Anything we can do to make sure that we can share this wonderful experience with all of you? You've never had that happen? <sighs> no, not yet. No, well, you'll, you'll squat down I've had a pencil cactus in my in yeah. my pant legs. Yeah, but, but when you're trying to get a shot, you're bent down, and no, you need just to step backwards, or you step backwards until you run into something. Yep, it's true, it's true. Oh, it's so beautiful to have all this water here this time. This lake was not full like this the last time we were here. We're gonna take our video their video, cram them both together, and uh, it'd be called the uh, State Park Rams. <laughs> got some granola, yep. we got some uh, yogurt raisins, more granola, smoked cheese, Lunchables. Thank you.
Ken is over here capturing audio from that little waterfall there. Remember this, just because you don't necessarily like the video you just shot doesn't mean you can't use the audio from it. It might be a gold recording. So always pay attention to what's going on around you. The sounds are very important that can be used later. I have to go number two. <laughs> well, I guess we'll figure out a way to make that happen. <laughs> Dig Hopefully. a hole. Dig a hole. Bury it. Crazy. It's been a good hike today. Really good. Every time you go to a park, you discover something new. So don't stop going. Get out and go camping. Well, we are about back to the truck. We're gonna head back to camp. I know Ken here wants to set up the camera one more time to try to get another time lapse of the night sky. Let's we'll see if we can find a really good spot for that. Yeah, hiking with those guys is fun. But just wait until you see what this dude is gonna whip up tonight. It's gonna be amazing. We just got back from our hike. First thing I did was jump in the tent and layered up. And change the shoes, right? That's right. Those are cool. All right, so we've got roasting corn. We've got some chicken parmesan up in the front there and what is this in the back Jonathan uh, stuffed mushrooms stuffed mushrooms so Jonathan I want to say thank you again for uh, assisting and cooking one of the greatest meals I've ever had. Melody, I want to say the same to you. Ken, I want to say thank you to you for giving us so much information today. There's not many people out here that are smarter than you when it comes oh, no, to no, no, no. the outdoors. Um, we, we all learn from each other. There you go. That's one better way to put it. As far as me, Clint, I want to say thank you to you for driving here, um, for deciding to go ahead and accept the invitation from Jonathan and Ken Cram. That was a really smart move on your part. <laughs> Look who it is. It's my lovely wife, Melody. And it is cold out It is quite cold. Bundled up. Oh, the night it was a great day, really great day. All right, well, that concludes this amazing trip to Enchanted Rock with Jonathan and Ken Cram. Yeah, we had a wonderful, relaxing time. Thank you guys for joining us. This is the true meaning of sharing knowledge through experience and inspiration through exploration. We are State Parkers. Until next time, I'm Melody. I'm Clint. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget, get out, go camping. <laughs>